Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. I'm your host Jacob Toronto. Please excuse my voice as it's a little bit nasally and raspy. I've been kind of under the weather the past couple days. But bear with me, I'll do my best to get through this and hopefully not annoy you with the sound of my voice. I promise I don't sound like this all the time. Um, this week it is the release of Ex Machina. Now if you're new to this channel, every Tuesday I do a DVD and Blu-ray review of what's coming out. Sometimes I talk about multiple, sometimes I talk about one in particular, and I tell you guys if I believe it's a buy, uh, if it's something you should forget, rent, or along those lines. And today we're going to be talking about a movie that I really, really enjoyed, and that was Ex Machina. Writer-director Alex Garland with his directorial debut, also known for writing movies like uh, Sunshine and 28 Days Later, um, was a movie that I never actually officially reviewed. Uh, it was actually during Comic... Uh, I'm sorry, nope. It was during CinemaCon here in Las Vegas where I was constantly at those conventions you could, and all that, and, you know, all the studios were promoting all their new work. We're interviewing different actors and such. So I actually missed the screening for Ex Machina. I did go and see it on my own time and I did post a video review of it, which you can watch here on our YouTube channel. Actually, you know what? I'll post that. If you head over to ChasingCinema.com, click the news button. Once you do that, you'll find this video at the top of the page. Click the link below. It'll take you immediately to that review. And you can read my full-on review towards the movie because I'm just going to give you a quick brief summary and review. Um, movie stars Oscar Isaac, um, Dom Hall Gleason, and Alicia Vikander. And this movie was one of the... was one of my favorite science fiction pictures that I've seen in quite some time. There's been a lot since, um, and I'm not saying of all time, but of this year, it was a really, really effective science fiction movie. Why? Because the movie didn't necessarily depend on special effects and, you know, different galaxies and different planets to tell a great science fiction story. Instead, it talked about ideas and themes that I thought were just so extraordinary and really interesting. It was a movie that will really have you talking and thinking about it afterwards. I thought I, I still talk about Ex Machina with people, and I still want to have the conversation about what their thoughts were about that movie because it's a movie that really brings up a conversation. Um, as good, and I mean as good as Dom Hall Gleason is in this picture, Oscar Isaac is all is probably a little bit better in this movie um, as Nathan, the drunk, unstable. Uh, um, owner of blue book which is the equivalent to google in this universe and he is great to watch in this movie but no one neither of these great actors can touch um alicia vikander who plays ava who is basically a creation of nathan's she is the she's a robot and in order to test artificial intelligence nathan has this raffle in which Caleb, who's played by Dom Hell Gleason, wins and has to come and test Ava to see if she is self-aware to pass this test to prove if artificial intelligence is actually artificial intelligence. And it is her performance in this movie that is unlike anything, I think, in the movie. that like, The quality of her performance is so important to this picture because she plays it like a normal person. She doesn't play it over the top robotic. She plays a normal human being with just a hint, just a very, very small hint of stiffness and maybe just a hint of, you know, robotic movement. And like I said, so when they have a convert, when her and Caleb talk, they have a regular conversation, but you could just tell them little itty bitsy moments that it's not 100% real. But you could believe she's real. I mean, the performance is, is amazing. And I mean, it's beautiful. And the way they present her with, you know, the human face. And then you could kind of see her body. And you could see the gears. And you could kind of hear, like, the whirring of, you know, when you turn on a computer, you hear that whirring inside of it. You could hear that in her. And just those moments of them talking are really, really great. Um, probably the best of the movie. Now, also, when Oscar and Nathan, or Oscar Isaac, who plays Nathan, and Caleb um, have discussions. Their discussions are also really great, and that kind of goes back to the fact that this sci-fi movie really focuses on ideals and thoughts and, and, and um, 
different themes. And I think that's what I really enjoyed about this movie. A lot of people were disjointed at the end of this picture, though. I actually kind of enjoyed the ending. I think it really works. I think this movie is a definite buy right now. I think it's on Amazon actually pretty cheap. I think it's like $16.99 on Blu-ray. This movie is definitely one worth picking up. If you are a science fiction fan, if you're a movie lover, this is the movie to get. Um, it's definitely slow paced. I will tell you that this is not a, an intense action science fiction movie. This is a very slow, very quiet movie. I actually saw this movie at one of the theaters where it's becoming a trend everywhere. So I'm assuming you guys will know where they insert recliner seats in the movie theaters now. And I don't usually go to those. Um, I think it's cool, but it's not something for me. I actually, I'm so used to movie theater seats. I like my seats. Um, but like I said, I didn't go to a screening. I just went um, afterwards with general audience. And it was so quiet that when I, at one point I wanted to adjust my seat, I didn't want to because I didn't want to make noise. And you could actually hear my seat over with a movie. That's how quiet it gets sometimes. But I mean, it's a great movie. It's very suspenseful. It's a, definitely a building of anticipation movie. And it has a great, great, awesome climax. I love this movie. Go check it out. Ex Machina DVD on Blu-ray today. If you've seen this movie or you buy it, let me know your thoughts down here in the comment sections below on how you feel about the picture. I want to have that discussion because, like I said, this is a movie that creates conversation. Let's have it down here in the comment sections below. Also, make sure to check out the other video, videos that I made today on Jennifer Lawrence possibly playing Mystique again. Uh, the Splinter Cell movie getting a new writer as well as the Fantastic Four final trailer review. All those videos are available right here on this YouTube channel and you can check out our San Diego Comic Con um, coverage also on our YouTube channel over the weekend. Just hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. Um, it's Trust me, it's, it's well worth it. Head over to ChasingCinema.com where you can see that review. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking time in your day to watch this video. Please give me a thumbs up on the way out. I'm your host, Jacob Toronto. Please excuse my voice and please continue chasing cinema.